Well, you guys got another video here for you on why data backup is so important for your business or your home. Now, if you haven't got a backup solution in place, then it's important that you get a backup done immediately. Now, it's always best to have at least three copies of your data, and one of those copies should be kept off site. This way, no one single event will destroy all copies of your data. Now you can see here, we have data stored on our PC. We've got documents here, we've got PDF files, and we've got images. I'm pretty sure that you're gonna have more than this. This is just a test machine, but I'm gonna show you the importance of having a really good quality backup solution on your system. Now I use Acronis, and I've been using Acronis for many, many years. And uh, this is not a sponsored video. This is just to show you how powerful Acronis is at protecting your system against ransomware. Now we have a piece of ransomware here, which I've downloaded and I'm gonna inject onto the system. And I'm gonna show you the destruction that this sort of uh, crypto ransomware can cause to a computer. Now you have gotta remember, not all ransomware can be decrypted. And if this is the case and it hits your system, and you basically get this on there and it encrypts all your data, you're pretty much scuppered. You've got one of two choices. You either pay the ransom or you suck it up and just lose all your data to the cyber criminals because they've got the key for that decryption. Now, if there is a decryption tool that gets released, then you are one of the lucky ones. Now, this is a piece of ransomware which I wanted to show you here. I've just injected it on the system. You can see it's already starting to go to work. It's very quick and uh, it will start to encrypt all of the files. Now this could come as a, an email attachment, a downloaded file, maybe you wanted to download a crack for a PC game or something like that, or a piece of software, and lo and behold, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get this on your screen, you're gonna get a different type of image depending on what type of ransomware it is, and of course, once this is encrypted your data, you're pretty much done for, unless there is some way of decrypting these files. Now you can see this ransomware has completely encrypted every type of file that I had on my system. And this makes it very, very difficult uh, to get data back, as you can see here. Now, this will also encrypt uh, files on USB flash drives or any external drives, anything that's on or connected to that computer. If it's on a network, it's even got the ability, or some of them have got the ability to encrypt data right across the network as we've seen with the NHS. So protecting yourself is so important in 2019. Now crypto ransomware hasn't gone away. It's not eased off. It's just the fact that uh, security uh, software has become a lot more stronger at protecting you against these particular types of attacks. So you can see here, this one has basically infiltrated this Windows 10 operating system and it's now caused mass destruction. Now, if this was a company, you've got downtime, loss of earnings, all sorts of problems once you've been, been hit with ransomware. So it's important that you protect your data. Now, how do you go about doing that? Well, I've been in IT for many, many years. And of course, even in 2019, I still see people with a poor backup plan. So let's go ahead and try and inject this onto the system once more with a Cronus anti-ransomware protection on the system to see how well it protects our data. Now, Cronus has been around a very long time and you can see here, I've already installed the Acronis ransomware protection, but if you've got uh, Acronis True Image 2020, that does come with the Acronis anti-ransomware protection built into it, which will protect all of your data. And you can see here, we've got the uh, link here. I'll put the link for both of these in the video description for you so you can have a mess around and decide what you wanna do. Personally, don't think too hard about it. Just get it installed and this will stop to protect your data straight away. There's no reason not to have some sort of backup and protection solution all in one here. And Acronis does a great job at doing that. Now you can see here, I've got some data back on here. I've got some images and I've also got some uh, documents and stuff like that. I'm gonna rerun the uh, ransomware onto this system and it's the same uh, ransomware which I'm running and we'll see if Acronis can actually block the uh, injection of this ransomware onto this system and stop it from encrypting 
all my precious data. Now this could be a business computer or a home computer. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have any sort of preference. It will just go ahead and inject itself onto the system and encrypt everything it sees. You can see here, Acronis has already told me that it's detected something and it wants me to block it. So I've gone ahead and I've blocked it and added it to the blacklist. I can then choose to recover my files or I don't need to recover my files. I can look at the view affected files if I want to, but I'm just going to recover them and get them back onto the system. It was that quick and that easy. And you can see here, if I go back into the pictures folder or documents, one of these two, there it is, it's inside the pictures. And you can see all my pictures are here and all my documents are safe and I haven't had any issues. Now that alone is worth its weight in gold because if you didn't have any backups and that happened, then you are putting your data at some serious risk because if this was a business computer and you had thousands upon thousands of emails, clients, and also documents, images, maybe CAD drawings, whatever it may be that's on your system, whatever business you do, or whatever home sort of work you do, then you could be pretty much done for. You could end up going bankrupt because you wouldn't be able to work without any of those documents. So let me just go ahead and inject this back onto the system again, and I'll show you which is probably one of the biggest problems with uh, protection software, which comes down to user error. You can see we've got our data back here, and I'm gonna actually trust this. You should never trust files that are from unknown sources and then you run the risk of data encryption from that ransomware if you even click trust. You can see now what the program has done is it's now whitelisted this and the user error can still cause ransomware to encrypt all your data. This is because you haven't read the instructions there. You've just gone ahead and clicked on trust. So it's very important that you don't go ahead and do that. What you do is you need to take your time, think of where that file has come from and what have you actually clicked on and what you're trying to do. You can see here, this one's called crisis and it's now all of a sudden uh, injected itself on the system and encrypted all my data. That is because I have allowed this to run on the system by hitting trust. You can see the process is running here. The disk is running at 100%. Me ending this process now is pointless because the damage has been done and it's managed to encrypt all my data. So even with that anti-ransomware program, if you make the wrong choice, it will still encrypt your data. So it's important that you think before you click on things and you actually read uh, what the uh, message is saying to you. If it says possible ransomware detected, then do not click on trust because this will happen and you will still be in major problems. Now you can see here, all of the USB flash drive has now been encrypted and this could be uh, an external drive. It could be anything that's connected to the computer. It will encrypt all that data also. Now, if there is no decryption tool available to decrypt this uh, program and get all your files back, then basically all of that data is now going to be held to ransom to the cyber criminals, which means you've got a choice whether you want to pay that ransom or you're going to sit there and lose all your data. And you can see it's encrypted just about everything. It's called a beats file here. It's changed all the file types and encrypted those. So you can see the devastating effect that these ransomware have on the system. So don't be clicking on attachments inside emails from untrusted people. And even if they are trusted, be very, very careful what you click on because you could end up getting something just like this. And if you haven't got a decent backup plan in place, then you are going to be in major trouble, especially if you're a small business or even a large business. These things can be devastating to a company. So it's important that you keep backups of all your data. Me ending the task now doesn't really do anything. I can get rid of this uh, message if I wanted to, but basically the ransomware has done its damage and uh, I'm left here with encrypted files. That's how this devastating this type of ransomware are today. Anyway, I hope this video has been some use to you. I'll leave links in the video description if you're interested in Acronis or the protection that Acronis offers. And also, it also offers a really good backup plan which keeps your data safe. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you found this video informative. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and 
click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.